the news with Alti. A lot of guys were close to him. Yeah, a lot of guys uh, down and stuff. Just picking each other up, you know. Uh, just remembering the good times. I mean, you know, Dale learns just things, you know. You just got to work together to get through. Was he up here for homecoming? Yeah. What, yeah. what, did, what was that like? Did you get to talk to him at all? I didn't actually didn't get to see him. Uh, I was at the house with my parents and stuff. So people were, said he had a, kind of a big laugh. He's a funny guy. Is that what yeah, you remember about yeah. him? Yeah, big smile, dimples. You know, no matter. I ain't really, you know, seen him down. You know, no matter what he was going through, he was always smiling, clapping. You would never know what's going on if he mad or not or what's going on. He's just always smiling. It's crazy. So what was your reaction when you heard the news and kind of? Oh, it was late, it was late last night, probably about one o'clock. Reggie had called me, <laughs> and Norman and Reggie called me that late. I'm like, it's some, it better be some serious. And he, he told me that I was, I was halfway asleep. I really, I'm thinking, I really didn't believe it. So I went to sleep, woke up about five, and that's when it really hit me. I was like, I really couldn't believe it. It seemed so surreal and stuff. So I mean. Lose it. It's like, you know, a brother, you know. That's why I was telling everybody today in the locker room. It's like we're all brothers, man. We we're around each other twenty four seven. And just to see one of your brothers gone, you know, it's gonna it's gonna hurt you hard. So I mean, we just gotta stay together, get through it, man, and just keep pressing. What kind of